As infections rise, talks of a possible vaccine and treatments are ramping up. The feds will start distributing doses of the first antibody treatment tomorrow. We first told you last night at 11, the FDA gave emergency approval to Eli Lilly for the drug. It treats COVID-19 patients who have mild to moderate symptoms. The government is expected to distribute 300,000 doses of the drug. Just hours ago, the nation's top infectious disease expert says he expects Pfizer's vaccine to go through the FDA's emergency approval process in the next week and a half. By the time we get into December, we'll be able to have doses available for people who are judged to be at the highest priority. Tonight, local health leaders are revealing new details on plans to distribute a coronavirus vaccine. News Six's Troy Campbell is live outside the Seminole County Office of Emergency Management with the information. Troy. Yeah, Lisa, Seminole County officials say that the priority group that Dr. Fauci was referring to is expected to be healthcare workers, people in long-term care facilities, as well as first responders. And now the Office of Emergency Management here in Seminole County says they're buying critical equipment they expect to be needed for when a vaccine is ready to be dispersed throughout the county. How many vaccines are coming and when will they be here? And I don't think anyone's ready to give that answer at this point. Seminole County Emergency Manager Alan Harris saying the county is ramping up with supplies and equipment for the mass dispersal of a COVID-19 vaccine. The Florida Department of Health in Seminole County saying the vaccine might not be available to the general public until March or April. Harris says the county has purchased several ultra cold freezers expected to be necessary to store the vaccine. We thought that was very, very important. So we went ahead and started planning months ago. Harris says the county has also purchased tents, lighting in a trailer, anticipating for vaccine clinics in spring. Seminole, Orange and Osceola County saying they're using their current flu vaccine clinics as a test run for a coronavirus vaccine. With several companies producing and testing a COVID-19 vaccine, Harris says the county has to wait to finalize their plans until they know the exact vaccine they will be receiving. There are so many different one, uh, different vaccines that are being tested right now. Um, it, we have to find out which one is going to be approved and then uh, what are the requirements for that. And Harris adds that the trailer they purchased, it was a very important purchase because they need to be able to get into communities where people don't have transportation. The Florida Department of Health also says that both COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations in Seminole County have nearly doubled in the past month. Live in Seminole County tonight, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.